Welcome. In this lecture, we will talk about major effects in research. We have already discussed some of the major researches like Hawthorne, Bystander. But in this section, we would understand many more effects extremely important from a psychological perspective. So here we do have the list of effects that we would be talking about today. 2023 uh, witnessed a question on Ziganic effect and we would be discussing others as well because all of them become important in the same go, right? So the very first one is Ziganic effect. Ziganic effect actually says that there is a tendency to remember the uncompleted task and the tasks which are completed, you tend to forget those. Now this is a very interesting idea. This idea was brought by a Luthenian psychologist and that Luthenian psychologist Bluma Zingrak, on whose name the, the effect has been given actually witnessed an interesting phenomenon went to a restaurant and saw that there was a waiter serving the food. So waiter had a very good memory and retained all the items that they had to fulfill. But there was a person who went out of the restaurant, came again and talked to the waiter. So the waiter was not able to recall and remember that they had ever served food to that person. The reason was the waiter was so proficient in the work only because they had a tendency to remain uh, remember the uncompleted task and the task which is completed now they don't have to serve they don't remember it and with this zig Garnick effect was discovered. So it's a tendency to rem remember the uncompleted task and to forget the tasks which are already done completed, right? Now, if we have a lot of uh, incomplete tasks with us, it could lead to stress, anxiety, insomnia and therefore could be detrimental to health. So, uh, health. so it's a better idea to develop um, uh, strategies to handle this and this would be really, really successful. The next is dungin kurger effect. Now, dungin kurger effect is an effect where a person first uh, has a very limited knowledge about something, but is highly overconfident, feels that I can do everything out in this world, but soon realizes that I don't have a expertise and, and therefore the truth or the competence actually uh, goes down. So if a person has lack of knowledge, then in the very beginning, the person might feel, oh, this task, I can definitely do that. And we call this as a mountain of stupid, right? And then soon he realizes, oh, this is difficult. I cannot complete it. So it's a valley of despair. And then with practice, 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 there is an enlightenment and finally,